discover St. Lucia, venture through the lush foliage, see exotic wildlife, and uncover hidden paradise springs. This is the push of tourism officials attempting to solidify St. Lucia as the premier adventure destination in the Caribbean. Since I became minister, um, there are a significant number of investments that we've approved for attractions and experiences within the adventure, within the nature sec um, subsector. And that, that augurs well for St. Lucia, that visitors coming in and have a wide range of options. During the quarterly meeting of the Tourism Advisory Committee, Tourism Minister Dr. Ernest Hilaire emphasized the need for the tourism product to build on its successes while exploring new niche markets. Where well, one of the projects that the ministry has put forward is an underwater sculpture park which will help the diving sector to even um, gain greater prominence and attraction for visitors. So over the next few years, some of the projects that will be mentioned here um, will really refine and enhance St. Lucia's offering. So we are broadening the appeal of St. Lucia. In 2022, St. Lucia secured the award for Caribbean leading adventure tourism destination. St. Lucia has also dominated as the Caribbean leading honeymoon destination, boasting an impressive 13 awards to its name. Dr. Hilaire says enhancements must also be made to better the cruise experience. Global Ports Holding, GPH, has been entrusted to deliver these upgrades. They will be upgrading Point Seraphine, so it can take larger classes of ships. Yeah. They will be rebuilt, redoing the Vendor's Arcade. You can see it's tired, it, it leaks, it floods, it's really not appealing, so that will be redone. A board rock will be built from the Vendor's Arcade to the San Susi Bridge with, you know, experiences along that board rock. So visitors who walk from the cruise ships down to Castries will actually have an entire um, you know, stretch for more experiences along the way. It will also create more opportunities for small entrepreneurs uh, along that way. And of course, I must mention in Banan, where um, the fishermen are, um, that area, I'm sure you will all agree and totally support me in saying that it needs major upgrade. Um, and I, I know you would agree. Um, and part of the, the agreement with GPH is to build a fisherman's village there. The tourism minister continues to champion the cause for increased local ownership within the sector. So we, we have to be able to translate all the growth. We have to be able to translate all the, the progress in the tourism industry and make sure our people um, benefit from it. And that's why for us it's about getting more solutions to participate and more solutions to own the tourism industry. According to the tourism minister, the idea is to create a thriving and inclusive tourism landscape where all players stand to benefit.